Hey guys, today I'll be showing you a new anti-detect browser built by a team in China called BitBrowser. First of all, it looks like your standard anti-detect browser. We've already reviewed quite a few on our channel. But uh, the pricing itself is quite interesting. So on their free plan, uh, they actually give you 10 free profiles compared to Ads Power and other anti-detect browsers, which only give you two profiles. And their bigger accounts are pretty cheap as well. You can manage up to 100 browsers for just $15 a month, which is a pretty good price. So let me show you how the software looks like. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit crowded in the user interface. I would definitely recommend that they simplify it. So let's go over the main functions. The first one is obviously browser profiles. You just click here to create a new one and you have like batch import, batch add and batch update profiles which is a nice feature. So from here you just uh, write the name proxy empire test then you can also group it or just leave it without a group. Then you can select the platform. I'm guessing because if you select a specific platform, it will allow you to automatically log in into that website by entering the username and password. And you can even verify that it's not a duplicate account, which is a nice feature to have. Okay. You can import cookies, pretty standard so far. And then, for the proxies, uh, you have several options. You can extract them by API, which is interesting approach. I haven't uh, seen it done by many other prox uh, many other anti-detect browsers. You have a proxy management function, and you can also just add a single proxy. The nice thing is you can actually select with which uh, IP checker you want to check the proxy, because as you know, sometimes different IP databases show different countries and so on. And then you can select the proxy type, HTTP, HTTPS, SOX5, SSH, and they also have ready-made integrations with a few other proxy providers. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just go with SOX5 and we'll grab a rotating residential proxy from Proxy Empire from the United States, California, okay. So we just copy paste it in here. Okay, one thing I noticed, unlike other anti-detect browsers, it doesn't automatically separate the lines, which is a nice feature to have, but we'll do it manually. So we enter the username, password, and port. And then we click the check proxy button. Okay, we see we have a proxy in Los Angeles, uh, but for some reason it's showing me the state and country in Chinese as well as English, but it's expected because it's a Chinese software. Here they have a bunch of um, other functions such as where do you want the workbench to be or where do you want the profile to be saved on a local server or disable. And then you have a few other options like a board video autoplay, board image auto loading, mute audio and so on, which can be useful depending on what type of websites you're going to be browsing. However, it could be a red flag if you have muted videos or automated uh, autoplay because most normal users have it on by default and you, when using an anti-detect browser you want to blend in as much as possible with all of the other people who are browsing that website. So they have a lot of customization settings which is quite nice. Here you can pick the kernel version. Um, for some reason, they do allow you to use a very, very old uh, Chrome core, which I would definitely not recommend doing because no real user uses a version of Chrome from three years ago. So we'll go with the latest one that they have available. Here you can pick the OS. You you can choose between Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, and then they also have Android and iOS virtualization, which is a nice touch. For the purposes of the tutorial, we'll be using their Windows emulation. 
we're going to leave all of the settings as default. However, you can click the random fingerprint button to generate a new seat. Okay, let's just leave it like that. Okay, confirm. Checking and syncing extensions, getting proxy IP, IP agent succeeded. Okay, so far, first impression is it has a lot of customization options, but the browser itself loads a bit slow. Okay, so let's go to whoer.net to verify if everything looks good. Okay, the proxy seems fine. ISP, Anonymizer, Blacklist, DNS. So far, looks pretty good. Here's where it gets interesting though. One of the features that I liked was their extensions marketplace, where you can actually choose from a lot of popular extensions such as Translate Assistant from Google Translate, Edit This Cookie, MetaMask, and so on which is very nice because you actually have the options to preload them into each profile that you make. So that's definitely something nice that they did right. And you can even like log in to Twitter by, by token. However, I'm not sure how good of an idea that is. And here they have even some tools for Amazon sellers, which is interesting, AliExpress and so on. And they also have an RPA feature which is basically their version of workflow automation so you can enter the first task and then the workflow id and so on and this way you can basically build a chain of events that will happen as you automate certain business process if you're interested in checking it out i definitely recommend going to their website and if you're thinking about buying one of their paid plans you can use our coupon code for a 10% recurring discount, which is posted below this video. Overall, I would say for, for a newer browser that they have quite a few interesting features and I definitely recommend keeping an eye on it. If you have any questions on how to use Proxy Empire's proxies with BitBrowser or anything else, just contact our live chat, we'd be happy to help you.